Hey guys, it's Cap from Nerdy Show and Bleeding Cool. I'm coming to you from a uh, trailer in the uh, Devolver parking lot, and I'm with Dennis of Hotline Miami. I'm very excited that Hotline Miami 2 is about to be released. Um, I was a huge fan of the original. So, what can we expect for the sequel? Uh, more of everything. We want to stay true to the, to the original and what people liked about it. So if you enjoy the first one, you will enjoy this one. I'm, I can promise that. The songs from the original really just personified uh, the gameplay in a lot of ways. They, they had a very symbiotic relationship. Uh, what went into the selection of those songs? Like, what were you looking for? It was quite easy approach. We just wanted, we knew exactly what kind of like vibe we wanted to have to it. Like, this pumping bass that will accomplish you with this um, dying repeat sequence. Like, well, again, again, again. And we wanted the music to work with that, so you almost get into a trance, like the music is like again, 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 basing. Uh, but also have this 80s, 90s vibe too. We not, not think like retro video game music, like it tends to happen sometimes. We just found a song that sounded cool and just downloaded it or bought it from Bandcamp or like send a mail and ask if they can send us an mp3 of it and then we just tried it in the game and if it felt good we tried to buy it. The original game, it had a very finite story. Uh, what can gamers expect for Hotline Miami 2? It seems like that was all wrapped up, so what's next? Yeah, when we did the first game we had all this backstory and other characters that was just for me and Jonathan, just fleshing out the story for ourselves. So we're just giving you the whole idea, the whole universe. So it's things that happening before Hotline Miami 1, some things happen during, something takes place afterwards. But it's still going to be very vague, and you have to fill in the blanks yourselves. And You've created a level editor so people can create their own Hotline Miami levels and maybe even their own Hotline Miami sequels, create their own games, because uh, this is the last Hotline Miami. Yeah. Uh, it felt like a cool thing to end with. Like, People have been asking for the, the editor since we released the first game. And now since we are wrapping it up, it's cool to give the people who want more so they can do it themselves and share it with each other. Yeah, See who comes up with the best Hotline Miami free. <laughs> All right, well, let's check out these cool tattoos. I see two Ninja Turtle tattoos, possibly Mutant League football. Mutant League football, Turtles. This is uh, my band's logo, but it's yeah, it's the Turtles. Rip off. Drum set fucking werewolf. Yeah, if you haven't listened to us, you should do. And it's also a game, the first game me and Jonathan did together. So just search for keyboard drum set fucking werewolf and you can download it for free. And yeah, Mega Man, Mega Man Skull. Transformers, Locust, my favorite band. Uh, some bionic fingers. <laughs> yeah, more tur Transformers, skateboard weapon. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, when, when can we expect to play Hotline Miami 2? Uh, this year. No, no quarter yet? Uh, we're saying third quarter. That's what we're aiming for. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Cool. If you want to check out more of our E3 videos and our daily podcasts, go to nerdyshow.com slash E3 2014. And uh, nerdyshow.com and bleedingcool.com is where you can find all of our coverage. 